let's talk about what's going on in heaven. Are we interrupting them when we try to make the connection? I know, I know we're not from my own experience, but from your viewpoint, are we interrupting them? And then what is making that direct connection without a medium? What does that entail? Yeah, and they're anxious for us to communicate with them. It is as though they had just moved to another country and uh, they want us to talk with them. They want us to phone them and, and talk with them there. They don't want us to give up on them like they're no longer around. So they're anxious for us to communicate with them and they will communicate with us from wherever they are. So they may do it telepathically, mind to mind from where, wherever they are, whatever they're doing at the time. They don't have to come onto the earth plane to communicate with us, but they may come into the earth plane and they may spend time with us in the earth plane. So it's up to them, whatever it is that they'd like to do and they're anxious to communicate. So we should keep up the communication. Uh, when people describe what happens after the person has transitioned into the next life, people on this side of life say, well, you know, I, I felt like they were around for the first few months, but after that, I just didn't feel like they were there. And, and it's because of the fact that they're not approaching, they're not coming back to spend time because they can't get through. It's frustrating for them. And so what we need to do is we need to learn how to communicate with them. And so I developed the, the self-guided afterlife connection procedure, and it's based upon my work. I've done work with psychotherapists, two psychotherapists who are doing psychotherapy work in which they help people to communicate with their loved ones while they're sitting in their office. And they're very successful. One of them is 98% successful.